All right, we're gonna watch another cut. Guess who's <laughs> Jewish? Yeah, I'm just gonna name the elf in the room. Not a lot of black Jews, right? All right, <laughs> we're gonna start Hello. off. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? What do you do? Uh, my name is Jacob Benjamin Glickman, and I'm the director of experiential Jewish life at a synagogue here in Seattle. I'm Bertha Baby, and I am Seattle's premier Jewish drag queen. Premier, not only. Essentially That's only, right. but I don't want some bitch coming at me later and being like, I'm a Jew too, so. Are you religious at all? I'm spiritual, I grew up uh, Catholic. So today you're gonna guess who's Jewish. Yeah, just like Hitler did. Oh. Heavy. You know, I think it's bold to imagine Jews in a room not talking about the Holocaust, but the truth is, like, a horrible atrocity happened to us, and I'm not scared to bring it up. Are you nervous at all? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know. I feel the weight of my people on my shoulders. Yeah, absolutely. I was yeah. super nervous. Why? Because I know nothing about Jewish people. What are stereotypes of Jewish people? That's a challenging question to answer. Well, why is that? Why is that? Because there's a lot of anti-Semitism going on right now. More recently, I remember one night, randomly, I was in downtown here going to my car and someone came up to me and was like, what do you think about this? And he pulls up his sleeve and there's an SS tattoo. It was not pleasant. How do you think What's an SS do? tattoo? I'm gonna learn a lot. All right, everybody, head out there. You're right. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect that. He's black. <laughs> You're black. <laughs> what? This is gonna be great. And there's one Jew amongst them, correct? No. Oh, oh, so it could be any number. All right. If there was one Jewish person here, who would it be right now? You. you Him. <laughs> you have such striking blue eyes. Thank you. She is not reading stereotypically Jewish to me. So if I was I to would say, choose that like, guy in the back Check it, Bavaka, Sha. No. Nope. Cool. <laughs> Do you know anything about Jewish culture? Yeah, a little bit. Do you know what the... It's called the yarmulke. Uh, yeah, she's Jewish. <laughs> I don't think you're Jewish. I don't think I'm as Jewish. Why don't you think I'm Jewish? I'm I'm not getting a, a Jewish vibe from you. Also, there's the Sheket Bavaka Shah, which is something a lot of Jewish kids grew up with. I think you're Jewish. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dang, wow. I'm a convert. Ah, okay. That's where it comes in. Oh, damn, that's that's the curveball. So wow. I didn't grow up Jewish, so I don't know your kid's yeah. song. <laughs> dang, that was, that was my bad. Why did you choose to convert? I majored in religious studies in college mm -hmm. and just really grew to love it. That's really beautiful. Did you convert locally with, with Rabbi Kadden? Yes. Cool. <laughs> I love Rabbi Kadden. He's yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. How hard is it to convert? If you are very invested in, in it, it's not hard area. at all. But if you're in it for the wrong reasons, it's going to be hard. So I can't like walk in and be like, I want to be Jewish and tomorrow I'm you Jewish. You could, but people yeah. would not appreciate that. <laughs> I mean. Hi there. Hi. Is there an issue with doing I'm that seeing, though? I would say you look Middle Eastern, which could potentially mean Jewish. If I was in Israel and grew up in, in Israel, I might yeah. have more connections with Arab Jewish people. I don't have yeah. too many. And so. I would say yeah. she's Jewish. This is, this is just making me realize this, the whiteness of the community, the Jewish communities I'm a part of. When did you first learn about the Jewish faith? When I was little. Did you celebrate Christmas? She's I definitely did celebrate Christmas, Jewish. But that was just for funsies because I was a kid. What bagels do you get? The ones from Panera, the Asiago one. The Asiago Panera bagels. Mm. <laughs> Intriguing. What did your parents want you to do mm. when you were growing up? Be a lawyer. Yeah, I know that lawyer thing. That's a pretty <laughs> traditionally Jewish, I think that's actually from Torah, you know? Do you know what that little spin thing is called? Uh, a dreidel? dreidel. She's Jewish! You celebrate Christmas for funsies, which is like your parents are like, I don't want you to feel left out with your classmates. <laughs> and you know what the ladle is dreidel. called? Dreidel. Dreidel. Do you have a favorite Yiddish word? Baklava. I don't believe that's Yiddish, but great. <laughs> you had me for a second with the mom wanting you to be a lawyer, but not knowing that baklava isn't Yiddish, I'm gonna say probably not Jewish. Asiago cheddar from Panera. No chance. He's not a Jew. I'm not a Jew. No. <laughs> we know better. I'm um, not Jewish. What? I was thinking You're not like, Jewish, um, but then I'm like, like Persian. It must be another. I, she was just giving me like Persian Jew vibes. That doesn't celebrate Christmas. That would know all of that shit. Yes. Okay, so I'm okay. Muslim. Ah. Yes. And Islam is very, very close to Judaism and the ways that they look at God and celebrate God and look at prophets and such. Interesting. Like, whole side was actually. Why are we asking this big?
person in the back any I questions over to jordan due to like racial contentions so like as i'm learning more about my culture and like palestine we need to ask him some questions like, this guy back here he's so looming in the back alaikum shalom alechem i mean absolutely there was a long history in that region of jews and arabs and muslims living side by side and like exactly. and like and like not just peace but like celebration and like cultural sharing and, exactly. and everything and so like let's let's try to go back there yeah like, can i give you a hug is that <laughs> Now that's a Jew. He wanted her. That is a Jew's Jew. Right there. He her. Yeah. Do I need to ask questions? You definitely look stereotypically very Jewish. I, do. I mean, like, look at this. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> when going to Friday night services, front, middle, or back section? Back. Back. Jews get to synagogue. I like early his crown to get too, the back row seats. In that the Jewish hard. faith, the like coming of age. Sweet 16 thing, what is that called? Bat mitzvah. I know what it's called. My mind immediately goes blank on what it's called. And for some reason, I'm getting the wrong one. I'm going to the specific coming of age for uh, Mexican women. I know it's not He said quinceanera. He's not Jewish. He didn't have a quinceanera. I think you're Jewish. Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, you should be. Uh, you'd be really what? good at it. <laughs> But have you been to Friday night services? My church did services all throughout the weekend. Church. Cool. <laughs> Interesting. What is your religion, ethnicity? Religiously, I'm Christian. Ethnically, I'm mixed. My dad's black, my mom's white. That's... That's what I'm talking about. Is this the first time that you've elicited this response with your existence? His Not dad's black, his mom is white. I can Jewish see that now. Lot. I, I wonder why. Have you experienced anti-Semitism? I have, actually. I work with a lot of political spheres. Okay. And I've specifically just gotten messages that were just slurs. Wow. Got Facebook hate for that stuff. Jeez. Going for like 30 minutes just calling me slurs. I'm like, I'm not Jewish guys. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Oh, I didn't know that that happened to Jewish people, and now I feel really fucking stupid. I mean, you looked the part already, like I you'd be welcomed in. I mean, you ever thought about just making the jump? I haven't, but I appreciate it. the snip, you know? <laughs> I'm, good. I'm all good there. <laughs> oh, you're so well put together. Ah, I love your whole just like, mm. Thank you. A little too well dressed for most Jews that I know, honestly. I like the, <laughs> like the shirt a lot. I'm seeing a nice dark beard. You know, it's, it could be a Jewish beard for sure. It's nicely groomed, so maybe not. What are some stereotypes of like Jewish people, and do you fit any of them? Yes, being hairy, speaking Hebrew. Being hairy, you okay. speak Hebrew? I do. I thought it was Yiddish, or is Yiddish the written you feel language? The Palestinian I think conflict. Yiddish might be the Quickly. written language when um, you speak I Hebrew. I free Palestine and liberation for all. Okay, you answered seriously, so I guess we'll talk about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that something that you keep up with regularly? I is she do, a comedian? because I do believe in coexistence, and I yeah. believe that um, Israelis and Palestinians should live Calm in peace. Calm down, Absolutely. bro. I bet She's a lot like of people would hear that you're right pro-Palestine and think you couldn't be too, but I had the joyous experience to visit oh, Israel last year, and I spoke with so many civilians, and it was... Lovely to see so many people say like government schmovernment. We want everybody to live in peace. I'm gonna guess you are Jewish. I'm actually not Jewish. Okay. Um, I do have some Jewish ancestry in me. Okay. Do you feel connected to that Jewish part of your ancestry? My parents never told me anything about our ancestry. All I know is like we're Palestinian and we're displaced during 1948. But mm. there was a specific term for Palestinian Jews who were living there before 1948, and a lot of people yeah, what's were hiding their identity, including my grandma, because of fear of persecution. Wow. So are you? Playing guess who's Jewish. I identify as an atheist. Has anyone mistaken you for being Jewish? All the no. time, everybody. Really? Palestinians, even. They were like, are you Israeli? Are you Jewish? You speak Hebrew. Fascinating. So Thank why you. did you learn Hebrew? I believe when you learn the language of a group of people, you yeah, can communicate it's, it's, with them, and that helps in reaching a resolution and learning that guess we are more similar than different. No, no, we're not. We're not going to cross that boundary. Have you ever confided in a rabbi? <laughs> No, no. Do you have any tattoos? I do. She's Who's definitely that? Jewish. Well, Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. Incredible. I'm going to say that you are not Jewish. I think seeing the Mother she Mary is Jewish. helped me immediately realize. She, do you know she looks Jewish. Yes. Atmita very great. Okay, I'm the I think I know. <laughs> you have an Israeli accent. I'm gonna say you're Jewish. I am. Yes. <laughs> yep. I am She's Jewish. Old Jew. Okay. Yeah. Old Jew. <laughs> Very Jewish. <laughs> and you identify that way? Yes. Did you grow up in Israel at all? Did you spend time there? For the last five years, I've been living near Tel Aviv. What's it like being an American Jewish person living I in Israel? I just knew. I got I the just nickname. No I just knew. Kaki. For some reason. <laughs>
<laughs> like little American shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's an Israeli term of endearment. It's a term of affection. Yeah, right. <laughs> the other guy was talking about how he kind of was experiencing some hate crimes, even though he like wasn't Jewish. Do you experience that? I have had situations where I've told people that I'm Jewish and they will um, talk it's to like, trans or yeah. even though he Jewish and they will um, like talk you told people that you're Jewish? Tell me different slurs. About. What is this about calling Jewish people slurred? What do people have against What do you think it's about, bro? People don't say anything to you? Like, literally have never, like, you probably just don't notice it either because you're just super privileged or whatever, first of all. Second of all, why have we not answered this man in the back or asked this man in the back any questions at all? And we're, it, it's like darn near we're ha like 80 percent done with this video okay that's second of all but yeah third of all yo you are black literally you are black you've never experienced any hate crimes ever jewish people there's been anti-semitism again for that people are just gonna be you know, people there was the holocaust that happened that's insane and i apologize for my ignorance on not knowing this or I guess not putting two and two together that this is Hitler, but still that's just insane. Thank you for telling me all that. Bro, get off, get off. How do I look? Yeah, I'm just gonna name the elf in the room. Not a lot of black Jews, right? Um, but I'd love to get to know you. <laughs> oh God, this is terrible. Why is it terrible? Because you're black. That's a bad thing? No, I mean, there could be black Jews because Tiffany Haddish exists, and you could also be a convert, so. Are you single? Yes. Do you date Jewish people often, or have you historically dated Jewish people? I have dated Jewish people. I wouldn't say that I exclusively look for Jewish people. And how many of those Jewish people had long blonde hair? None of them. <laughs> Great, because this is a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know any Hebrew... Mm -hmm. You. Okay, wait, sorry. <laughs> so you have like Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. How would you say that last one? Hanukkah? How do you spell it? With a C-H. With a C-H, mm -hmm. cool. I think Jordan's Jewish. <laughs> I just have a feeling that if you're Jewish, have... you see it more. I mean, he, it's a curveball because he's the, he's, first of all, there's only, there's only two black people there, right? And like you said, there's not a lot of black Jews out there. I knew one. I knew a black Jew, Jewish dude. Literally, I f spent a lot of, of my teenage years with him, actually. Lived with this guy. Anyway, um, but the thing is, the hair, he has like these, he has the curls, He's and he's not giving island vibes. He could. He's really tall. Ugh. Did they just throw this guy in here to, like, kind of throw us off? He knows Hebrew. He's dated a lot of Jewish girls. I'm going to say he's Jewish. More CH, maybe H, but the CH for me was a thing. I am going to stick with my gut. I don't think you're Jewish. He doesn't look Jewish, but I've also done a historically bad job at this so far. So. I also spelled Chanukah we'll like I that, though. Jewish. Dang it! That was a yeah. good thing. Oh, yeah, I love right? the Jews. Yeah, Sorry. Oh, I thought we were celebrating this. <laughs> don't you dare put that on TikTok! <laughs> my dad and his whole side of the family are Jewish. Cool. I did very much grow up celebrating Hanukkah, Passover, Yom Kippur, uh, Rosh Hashanah, all of those things. Can you, like, teach me something in Hebrew? Baruch Ata Adonai. Baruch. Ata. Ata. Adonai. Adonai. What did I say, actually? Praise be thou. But yeah. that was not all of it. That was just the yes. start. Growing up with this like Jewish Adonai. aspect and your skin tone. The elephant in the room. I mean, <laughs> have you ever gotten shit for being black and Jewish? Uh, no. Uh, I've been called Drake before, uh, as well as um, Lenny Kravitz. Yep. Those are almost compliments of that point. I, I mean, I'll tell you, definitely. Uh, depending on what Drake you're talking about. Um, right. Have you been to Israel before? I have not been to Israel. Do you want to go? Yes. What's your schedule look like after this? Is that all right? <laughs> like, are you free on Tuesday? <laughs> Who did Sierra guess correctly? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's impressive, actually. Cool. 50%? Yeah. It was the one. <laughs> one. How was that for you? Really uncomfortable. And he didn't really guess anybody. Bad. My own internal biases were just put right front and center. My visual assessment was based on the like European descent, the Ashkenazic Jewish 
uh, complexion when there are tons of Jews from other parts of the world that don't look like that or don't look like me. And so this was a huge learning and growth moment for me and is expanding my worldview and Jew view. Okay. <laughs>